The answer is 50 nights. What is the question? <laughs> is it dogs often go to fetch help when their master is in trouble? How long would you have to be lying dead before your cat gave a shit? <laughs> How long did it take Lady Gaga to perfect tucking her penis between her legs? <laughs> Next topic is Britain's Got Talent. Frankie. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched, I actually watched this series of Britain's Got Talent, or as I think it should be renamed, How Bored Are Britain's Women and Homosexuals? <laughs> Susan Boyle. Susan Boyle, to me, looks like Gordon Brown playing Mrs Doubtfire. <laughs> she was on Oprah Winfrey in America and they subtitled her. And people in West Lothian, where she's from, were absolutely horrified, as many of them can't read. <laughs> she, says, she says that she's never been kissed. And on that evidence alone, Scotland's alcohol problems are not as bad as first thought. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear from a weather forecaster. Temperatures could rise to 31 degrees. Shit, I've left my baby in the car! <laughs> I mean, this, this was a criticism made by uh, female Labour MPs, yes. wasn't it? That because they're not been put in the new cabinet. Yeah. Who wants to be put in Gordon Brown's cabinet? That's like being handed a set of pilot goggles by Emperor Hirohito. <laughs> 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 it's fantastic to see Gordon Brown <laughs> looking incredibly uncomfortable as he met Berlusconi. Berlusconi's sort of like an old-style fixer. Hey, you, you want pussy, Brown? <laughs> <laughs> You want some blow? You want blow? No, I'm, I'm just here to talk about trade. You want a boy? <laughs> <laughs> I get you a boy, Brown. I get you a girl. I get you a boy, girl. Four arms, four legs. It's like making love to a man spider. <laughs> you want me to get rid of Cameron? I get rid of Cameron, Brown. I make it look like suicide, like he fell in love with the man spider. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a survival show. I was first taught to eat in the bush by a French girl I went out with at university. <laughs> Using excrement, mud and twigs, they've made primitive bedding here at the Premier Travel Lodge. <laughs> but who are the truly civilised? Is it the Mbupi tribe or is it us with our books, our medicine and our internet? Oh yes, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> The strong, powerful son is making me sweat. Oh, shit, here comes his dad. <laughs> I've just achieved my life's ambition of climbing Everest with no food and no equipment. Now do you love me, Daddy? <laughs> now do you love me? OK, the next topic is... <laughs> unlikely things to read on a packet. Ragu sauce. If you gave this to someone who is actually from Italy, they'd punch you in the face. <laughs> Sunny Delight counts towards your five a day as minus two. <laughs> Start with a round called Headliners. Here's a picture of David Cameron. But what does C E P L stand for? Times is slightly more sinister okay, again. <laughs> Cameron enjoys penetrating lady boys. <laughs> <laughs> this is the space race. China. 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 Trying to reach them in. Do you know how they're doing it? How they're doing it? Human pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted lines from a fantasy film. Ron had been suffering from swine flu, and people were avoiding him. Luckily, he was ginger, and he was used to it. <laughs> in the wardrobe, we found a magical compartment that led to the Fritzel family. <laughs> I'm not a dwarf, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is... Things you don't want to hear from your flatmates. That's my milk in the fridge. I squeeze it out of my tits with a vice. <laughs> my last flat was just like friends. Have you seen the one where Joey kills everybody? <laughs> <laughs> OK, there's... 
there's one certain way to find out who ate my <clears throat> yoghurt, an AIDS test. <laughs> The answer is 27. What is the question? Is it how long was the trail of chocolate hobnobs I used to lure my gran through the doors of a Swiss clinic? <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a consumer program. Last week we said that we were going to expose London's security scene. This week we say there's been a misunderstanding. Could I please have my kids back? <laughs> Things a sports commentator would never say. It's the women's 100 metres final, and from left to right, it's no, no, yes, yeah. maybe. From behind. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Venus Williams has brought something different to the ladies' game. Male genitalia. <laughs> and that bloody smear is the reason you don't see a lot of streakers in Formula One. <laughs> Overpaid, overpaid, knocks it on to overrated. Overrated on to possible rapist. Possible rapist, knocks it forward. Closet gay, goal! The answer is 50%. Is it, what was the proportion of cats that died <laughs> during the making of my ill-fated television pilot, Cat vs Bleach? <laughs> Unlikely lines from a thriller. This is no ordinary pen bond. Turn it upside down, the woman's clothes drop off and you can see it. Uh, I'd been a serial killer for four years, but they'd never given me a nickname. Then, you bite one guy in the ass, and suddenly you're the butt muncher. Ah, <laughs> oh, the butt muncher's got me! The butt muncher's got me! OK, the next topic is... Bad things to say at a wedding. Hey, Carol's family have always had their doubts about me. So, first of all, let me explain why I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for the man because he's still got to fight the innate racism of Americans, hasn't he? I mean, do you see his first speech when he got made president and they put all that bulletproof glass up in front of him? I think that shows you how racist America still is. Just because he's black doesn't mean he's going to shoot anybody. <laughs> Basically, Obama's, Obama's got in, he's had a look at the economy, he's had a look at what his general public are actually like, and he's got a new slogan, turns out we can't. Yeah. <laughs> Bad things to hear at the psychiatrist. I don't want you to think of me as a psychiatrist. I want you to think of me as a mental patient who killed the psychiatrist before you got here. <laughs> You've been coming here for six months to talk about your trust issues. Well, we've been filming you for Britain's nuttiest bastards. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a TV talent show. What a hilarious singing dog Susan Boyle is. <laughs> hello, I'm Susan Boyle, and I would like to say hello to my brother, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Boyle is not related to me. None of my relatives will ever manage to chisel their way out of that cellar. <laughs> that was a beautiful song, until you fucking sang it. <laughs> Didn't it? I, don't, I don't know if you realise yes. if you realise the story behind this, but Dara's lost weight because he's been on the Irish version of I'm a Celebrity, which is set during the potato famine. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. How much weight? We were, we were all a bit lots. worried when we heard about your weight loss. We were all a bit worried that you had AIDS. Yeah, that because was true. None... Uh, No, we were, we, were, we were genuinely worried because none of us wore a condom. <laughs> <laughs> you had a holiday booked to go to Scotland in September. <laughs> I wouldn't go to Scotland in September if I was going into hiding. <laughs> the only person making that trip should be an academic doing a report on the exact moment when depression turns into violence. <laughs> Things you wouldn't want to hear at work. I want you all to put down those football bits that you've been sewing, because I've heard that it's somebody's very special 11th birthday. <laughs> and we've got you a photo of a cake. <laughs> Panchawaho Chongwa! Panchawaho! <laughs> what do you mean it's not your turn to make the coffee? This is fucking Starbucks. <laughs> Libyan leader Colonel Gaddafi in casual mode recently. <laughs> but what does LCGA stand for? Is it love confuses Gaddafi's <laughs> assassin? 
<laughs> I would kill him, but look at that little smile. How could you? Is it is there four things you're not allowed at the uh, party? Is it ladies, cocaine, Glaswegians, and alcohol? <laughs> is it? Um, I'm is very it... racist. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for opening the racist door for me. Do you actually have a, a racist door? Yeah. I, 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 always, I always imagine yes, it was I more like... children's show. Yeah, is uh, it? I <laughs> children, shall we open the racist door? <laughs> Who's behind... Oh, it's Ching Chong Chinaman. <laughs> he had the Italian red arrows at it. Mm. To me, all the red arrows are just cowards, aren't they? Highly skilled pilots who, while we're at war, choose to perform at country air shows. <laughs> Have you seen any action recently? Yes, Farnborough. I killed a family having a picnic. <laughs> it's just not too predictable, hasn't it? I mean, I've not seen any of this, Big Brother. I've not even read about it in the paper. But I can say with confidence that the gay one's a bit annoying, the lesbian's a bit bossy, it's a shame for the one with special needs, and the racist one stands a good chance of winning. <laughs> Rejected questions from this year's exams. Discuss the idea that Willy Wonka was a paedophile. <laughs> There's a wedding where Jane invites 20 guests and her partner Helen invites 40 guests. How angry is God? <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a TV business show. OK, Dragons, I've developed a system that lets you get your own seat on the bus and it involves talking slightly too loudly then pissing yourself! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Working Lunch, a show for people who are so good at business they're sat at home watching the TV <laughs> in the middle of the fucking day. <laughs> this week the Dragons meet a retired Nigerian brigadier with an offer that sounds too good to be true. <laughs> and so welcome to the game, Nick. You look like fat Hitler. Yeah. There's no... <laughs> There's no two ways around. He looks like a jowly looks like, He looks like a plucked owl that's been fast-tracked for management at Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one in 500. What is the question? <laughs> is it how many of my sexual fantasies involve my partner? <laughs> <laughs> and, to be honest, in that one, she's introduced me to her sister. <laughs> Bad things to hear from a tour guide. <laughs> a lot of you will be wondering why there are so many wonderful foreign treasures <laughs> on display here at the British Museum. And the answer is quite simple, really. Gun beat spear. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to respect local customs. On the right-hand side, you'll see a woman being bumped at the stake. <laughs> and on the left, Dundee Town Hall. <laughs> <laughs> An adult and two children is £10. But enough about my trip to Cambodia. <laughs> Our next topic is unlikely things to hear on a breakfast show. If the woman I picked up last night is watching, help yourself to cereal, but get out of the flat by the time I get home. <laughs> Welcome to Radio Tourette's, you shit monkeys. <laughs> We launched a scheme to retrain sacked bankers as teachers. This, what sort of teacher is a banker going to be? Imagine that you have 30 apples and I have no apples. Give me all the apples. <laughs> so I have all the apples. <laughs> <laughs> now I shall retire on a pension of a million apples. People are complaining that they were confused by Darren Brown's trick. If yeah. you're complaining that you're confused by a magic trick, <laughs> you shouldn't be watching magic tricks because they are designed to confuse. <laughs> I mean, to me, that, that's the sort of news that makes me think they should cancel the X Factor, pump poison gas into all public buildings and just restart the country from scratch. <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a horror movie. As a vampire, I cannot bear direct sunlight, which is why I moved to Scotland. But now I can't find any virgins! <laughs> This potion that turns you from Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde, it looks a lot like six cans of Stella. <laughs> <laughs> Likely things to hear on a children's TV programme. This drawing has been sent in by Robert, age nine. That's a shit drawing, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Children your age in China who can make shoes. 